Yeah, g'day guys. Dean West here. I'm part of Disaster Relief Australia's ADAT team, which is the aerial damage assessment team that you see behind me. Okay, so we use drones for intelligence gathering in disaster zones. My role within the ADAT team is a senior base pilot, so I sit under the chief pilot and help him make sure everyone's um, abiding by all the CASA rules, ticking jobs off, and just make sure that we keep the documentation that we need for CASA. My name's uh, Brent Hurd. I'm uh, the National Aerial Damage Assessment Team Manager. Uh, I'm also the uh, Chief Remote Pilot for the uh, RPAS capability within the ADAT team. My role as the Chief Pilot is to make sure that we're compliant with the CASA operations and that the guys are uh, flying uh, proof flight plans and uh, making sure they conduct safe flights within the, uh, the regulations that we're approved under with our aerial. ADAT stands for Aerial Damage Assessment Team. So our role within the DRA larger organisation is to conduct aerial damage assessment. We use multi-rotor and fixed wing aircraft and also tie in with software to create auto mosaic maps and panorama and video capture of images using drone deploy. We also have the ability to upload into ArcGIS so that we can manipulate the data and do data and image analysis, which we can then share internally for planning and operational purposes as well as with external agencies. Our uh, ADAC capability is uh, fairly extensive. We have over 30 trained pilots and we also have nearly 40 image analysts. These are scattered throughout the nation. So one of the key benefits that we can bring is that level of skill and uh, capability and deploy it around Australia and overseas. So we can provide a surge capability for services that have maybe overwhelmed in large disasters. Uh, we also are able to leverage off a lot of the skill sets that the people from DRA bring from their previous roles, whether it be defence or emergency services or other avenues, and are able to tap into that skill set and uh, leverage off that to aid the government entities in the uh, response and relief phase of disasters. G'day, I'm Narjai. I'm from the Townsville TRT, uh, and I discovered uh, DRA Back in 2017, I uh, decided to join the ADAT team. We sort of conduct aerial damage assessments of damaged properties, damaged structures, uh, or anything that the council might also require when we go out to communities and provide that through mapping and overlaying onto other assets and products that we have available to us that then provide a bigger picture to the organisation. So it's great to sort of come down and actually have that opportunity to fly and get some good hands-on product knowledge and training to be able to take it out to the field and uh, really rehearse it.